out of the mattress and into the markets. It's easy to be scared by all the bad news, but your money isn't gonna grow unless you put it to work. A mutual fund sells shares to people like you and uses the money to invest in stocks, bonds, and money market securities. Simply put, it's traditionally a safer, more diversified way to make money. Christine Benz is the director of personal finance at Morningstar. Christine, give me the top three mutual funds every investor should know. T. Rowe Price Global Stock is a terrific pick for more aggressive investors. The reason I like it is that it could easily serve as a standalone stock fund in an investor's portfolio. It really covers the waterfront. It buys both U.S. companies as well as foreign companies. It also includes a shot of emerging markets. So for, for individuals who want to participate in the potential growth prospects in emerging markets, this fund is a good way to get yourself a little bit of exposure. This is a no-load fund, meaning there's no fees to buy shares, but this fund is extremely volatile. It lost 50% of its value in just 2008. So Christine, what's a fund that's less risky but still has potential growth for investors? For investors who are seeking a core fund that's not going to deliver a lot of surprises, look to a fund like Dodge & Cox Balanced. This is a fund that combines both stocks and bonds, so it holds roughly 60% in stocks and 40% in bonds. And it also uses a bargain hunting approach with both sides of the portfolio. Dodge & Cox fields a very experienced management team. The costs here are also nice and low, which I think is something you always want to look for, but particularly if a fund like this is going to be a core holding for you, you want to make sure that it's nice and cheap. Christine, what's a mutual fund that's good for conservative investors, like people who are retired or looking to retire and want to increase their nest egg without the risk? For conservative investors in search of a good core bond fund, one I can easily recommend is called Harbor Bond. Harbor is not a household name, but Bill Gross and the team at PIMCO runs this fund for Harbor, and they've just done a tremendous job year in and year out. This is a fund that actually managed to make money in 2008, even as a lot of bond funds actually spilled red ink. One thing I like about it is that Bill Gross and the team here can be very opportunistic. They can invest in almost anything, including corporate bonds, U.S. government bonds, foreign bonds. They can go wherever they find the bargains, and that's a great strategy if you're looking for a core bond fund. I also like that its costs are nice and low. And as always, do your homework and talk to an investment advisor and find the right mutual fund for you.